hello guys welcome to fs food kitchen once again um if you're a new subscriber you're most welcome my name is fa uh, but if you're a continuing subscriber thanks for all your support i really do appreciate it and um, in this video i'm going to be demonstrating spaghetti bolognese but using corned beef Without further ado, let me just show you guys what I'm going to be using for this recipe. I'm going to be using one red onion, two scotch bonnet peppers, tomato puree, garlic puree, two spaghetti, salt, corned beef, bolognese sauce, but this is the family size because I'm, this is basically lunch i'm making lunch for my family so i'm just gonna be taking you guys along so i'm using the big bolognese sauce and of course olive oil so what i'm going to do next i'm going to chop my tomato i'm um, sorry chop my onions my pepper uh and i'll be straight back i also have water that is boiling on the fire that's for the spaghetti so I'll see you guys in a minute. Guys, as you can see, the onions is chopped and the scotch bonnet. So that's two scotch bonnet and one red onion. So I'm going to take you guys straight to the cooker so I can start cooking this meal. So the spaghetti is going to go into this water now. The water is boiled. I don't know if you guys can see the popcorn boiling. I'm going to put some oil, some of this oil. I'll put some, that's it, so the spaghetti doesn't stick together. And I'll put some salt, like a tablespoon of salt. If, I need, if you need more salt, I, I can always add some later. Then I will stir it again and taste for salt. So I'm going to start making my bolognese sauce now, putting some oil. So guys, I'm now ready to start making my bolognese for the spaghetti. So I'm putting some olive oil in there. I'll say like this spoonful. It's a lot of spaghetti. I'll let that become hot before I start putting anything else inside. These are the two ingredients I forgot to tell you I'll be adding. Dried rosemary. That is a good combination with any tomato-based sauce. And my chicken stock cube powder. So instead of crumbling my cubes, you can just buy the powder. This is what it looks like inside. So I'm going to be using those two. So my oil is hot. So I'm going to put my onions and hot scotch bonnet pepper. Remember, I only use two pepper. And I'm going to use half a spoon of the stock chip powder. And dried rosemary also. You can use any brand, but I absolutely love dried rosemary or the fresh one. Whichever, but well, I couldn't get the fresh one, so the dry one is okay. Let's put that as well. And then I put my tomato puree. I'm 
like half of your soup spoon, half. Next thing I'm going to add is my very puree. This one, so I'm adding. It's not much left, so I'm just gonna add all of it. I absolutely love garlic. Not just for the taste, but also the health benefits. Apparently garlic is meant to be very good for you. So I will let that go for like two minutes, then I'll add my kombi. My convict is open, so I'm going to put it inside. I'm switching to my wooden spoon. Let that go for let it um, be melted. Then I'll come back in about two minutes and add my bolognese sauce. I'm going to put the bolognese sauce now. I'll cover that and let it simmer for. 20 minutes so if everything is cooked and combined together and then the food will be ready the spaghetti is nearly ready very very nearly ready i'll show you guys when it's ready it's the complete bolognese sauce is ready it didn't take long at all and the spaghetti one in one minute it will be ready so this is something you can cook if you don't fancy bringing out any meat from the freezer or bringing out any chicken or bringing out anything or minced meat, you can just use corned beef. Corned beef is, is, is being sold in the tin and it's easy. Just open it and you, and you make yourself a meal if you're hungry. So food on the go for people who are busy, like busy moms, busy couples or people with children and they want to quickly make something quick that will not take too long maybe the kids are screaming i'm hungry i'm hungry you just open your corned beef and make something like this and you know spaghetti doesn't take long and within 20 25 minutes food is ready everyone is eating everyone's happy mm. so i'm going to dish out the spaghetti and show you guys what it looks like on a plate i just want to show you the spaghetti see it's ready very ready And see, it didn't stick together because I added oil. So if you don't want your spaghetti to stick together or your pasta, you just add a little oil. If you don't have only um, olive oil, you can always add vegetable oil. It doesn't really have to be olive oil. But just a little, not too much, so you don't have oily pasta. Because remember, you're still going to use the sauce to eat it. So, and that's it, guys. So I'm going to show you guys what it looks like when I dish it out. So guys, that's the end product. That's the spaghetti and the corned beef bolognese sauce. Oh my God, that dish is calling my name. So guys, um, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up, like, comment and subscribe and share with all your friends, family and loved ones. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.